Welcome everybody to Technoscope, the channel dedicated to everything tech plus gaming hardware. Today I wanted to show a little device uh, that, I'm, that I just got and also I'm going to try to set it up. Now, if you watched my other video labeled, I have new tech toys, you watched me unbox this printer right here. This is the Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer. It is a relatively cheap printer compared to what most of them cost, but it is also very well built. Welcome to the channel. This is Technoscope. don't really I can't really speak on how well it operates uh, or anything but uh, from what I've seen as far as reviews go as far as uh, as far as its reputation everything like that everything that I've seen online it's a good printer especially for the low price that this one sells for keep in mind that a lot of 3d printers still sell for well over a thousand dollars and some of them like the Ultimaker 3 sell for over three three thousand dollars um, and that's just for consumer printers. You can get uh, the ones that are more business oriented and they can cost tens of thousands and even hundreds of th hundreds of thousands of dollars. So uh, considering that this one is just a couple hundred dollars, I think that's a great deal. Now, if you have any interest in buying anything that I show in this video, um, I will put the links to all that stuff in the description below. And keep in mind that uh, these are affiliate links, which means that if you buy something, I do get a commission uh, for each purchase that you make. Uh, does it cost you anything? But that is how this channel is pretty much run. Um, now, uh, I bought the 3D printer, but I also bought a few other things. There are accessories that came with it. We'll talk about those in a second. Um, but along with the accessories, uh, I bought this little uh, spatula right here, um, which is supposedly good for uh, removing prints, and I bought some filament over here. Now, um, if you watched my other video about uh, the one called I Have New Tech Toys, um, I, sh I was showing three, uh, three or four um, rolls of filament that I already had. Um, or actually, I guess two of them I might not have shown. But I showed that I had some filament already. Uh, but I also bought these spools uh, to go along with it for projects that I have planned. And this one right here because October is next month. And I'll probably get a, good, a lot of good use out of that. Um, but let's take a step back to the printer for a moment. This uh, 3D printing is something that I've been a fan of for years uh, uh, I don't even remember the first time I heard of 3D printing, but it's, it was years ago, um, long before it was as mainstream as it is today. But like many of you who are just spectators right now, I didn't have the budget to actually get into the market uh, and buy my own 3D printer. They, they're they just now getting to the point where they're affordable, like this guy right here. This is uh, a couple hundred dollars. Um, but when I first started looking at it, the cheap printers... Um, were that sell in the market this one is in now, we're still well over a thousand dollars. So I'm just now getting into this. So I am a total noob on this, guys. I've watched some videos, I've uh, not any really how to videos, just kind of results videos. Um, I've seen some videos by uh, uh, Joel, the uh, 3D printing nerd, and some videos by Barnacles. Um, but I do for the most part. I am a total noob at 3D printing. And that's kind of what this series is going to be about because as I learn things about 3D printing, I want to pass that information along to you. Uh, now, likewise, I also want to set up a platform so that when I make these videos, all of you guys out there that watch my videos that have experience with this stuff, if I do anything wrong or if you have suggestions or anything like that, put those in the comments and share that with the rest of our community. I read nearly every comment that is left on a technoscope video i'm still the channel is still small enough that i can do that so leave your comments down below and i will um if there's anything in there that i can pass along to others i will pass it along so let's try to help help each other do this thing um but as i 
as I go along, I will include more and more in the future videos that I, that I make. Uh, so today's video is going to be about setting this guy up, getting it ready to 3D print. And then I will start, uh, I will start my first 3D print. Um, and I will make uh, follow-up videos for that. So anything that, that's printed uh, in the next couple of days, there will be another follow-up video, probably early next week, that will deal with that stuff. Now, um, before we get to actually doing that, I already mentioned that I have a spatula that was recommended on, on Amazon. Um, it actually comes with one, but, you know, how long is this really going to last? So... Got a real tool right there, and they actually have a five pack of these, but I didn't think that I would actually need five of them. I mean, it's just one me, and there's only one printer at, at the moment. Uh, but this was pretty cheap. If I'm not mistaken, um, it was a couple dollars. No more than no more than five, but I think it was just like two or three dollars. Um, another thing that didn't come with it, and I'm not really sure if I needed these, but I wanted to have it just in case. Um, I totally opened this upside down. Uh, these little guys right here, I forget what they're called. There's, of course, there's no label on this package. Um, but they, from what I understand, people use these if the uh, print nozzle ever gets clogged. You can use this to unclog it. Uh, and this is a five-pack of these. Yeah, five-pack. Um, I'll include the link for this below as well. If you know... Um, a better method or if for whatever reason uh, somebody recommends against using these let me know that in the description as well or in the comments below um, but that was cheap that was cheap so I went ahead and bought it as well this is stuff that it came with um, like I said it comes with this yellow uh, plastic spatula but I went ahead and got the metal one anyway a USB cable now project sledgehammer is right behind the camera right here to my right your left, I, uh, I think that's your left. Um, the three D printer is on that side of the office over there, or that's where it's going. And it's I have an actual table set up over there for printers. It's already it's got my label printer and my laser jet on there already, and my label uh, label printer. I have a I have a actual label printer like the one that prints those white strips, and I have one of those zebra printers that print labels like. Uh, companies use um, it's going on that table over there so this obviously is not going to work and even if I did have USB uh, I do so many things with my with my computer there's no way that I would let sledgehammer be tied to a 3d printer for printing things hours at a time uh, there's, ju there's just no way that would that would impede too much uh, too much work in progress so uh, it does have a port right here on the side of it where you can insert a micro USB card, which is actually included. This is only 256 megabytes, and I'm not sure how they got these because I don't even think they still made 256 megabyte cards. Uh, but you can put your print, put your prints on here, insert this, and select it from the screen to print out. It also comes with a hex wrench that's used for adjusting the hot plate. Uh, the hot plate, for those of you who don't know. Um, is where you start your prints. It's what the prints are actually printed on. This actually heats up so that when it starts to print, the uh, the material that you're printing down actually adheres to the surface. Um, a lot of people use, um, just from the videos I've seen, a lot of people use like uh, the blue um, uh, 3M uh Printer's tape, uh, printer, uh, painter's tape, uh, which is used, which was designed for house print, uh, painting so that you can easily remove it without leaving uh, adhesive everywhere. Um, a lot of people we put use that and they print directly onto the tape itself. Uh, this one has a material on there that I've just I've just recently started seeing in other places. Um, I don't really know much about this material. Uh, so I'll have to get back to you at, on, on it. But from what I understand, this surface right here basically removes the need for a uh, for using that tape. Uh, again, I'm brand new with this. I don't really know. I have zero experience using this printer, so I don't really know how well this system works. 
And I could be completely wrong about that. So <laughs> just take it for what it is right now, guys. If anything that I tell you is incorrect, I will uh, correct that mistake in, in the description below or the comments or whatever in, in the next video. So uh, I can only tell you what I know so far. This right here is a short roll of PLA. Um, to be honest with you, this I guess this is for calibration. I'm not really sure. Uh, or it might just be, you know, enough to get it calibrated and to get started. I want to say that that's probably not enough to get start to really do much with. Um, but of course, since I've never 3D printed anything, I don't know how much material a print uses. So, uh, But it does come with this little roll right there. You also get uh, this book here. Uh, which I believe has like the warranty information. Uh, they're telling, they're saying that they're going after 100% satisfaction. Like I said in my other video, I I've never dealt with Monoprice's customer service, except on one occasion when I was asking, you know, uh, what a ETA, what the ETA was on a delivery. Um, so I honestly don't know how good their customer service is, their RMA program, and all that stuff. I I've never dealt with it, so I don't know. Uh, I didn't. I didn't buy this from the Monoprice website. I bought this from Amazon, uh, just to clear that up. And of course, the last thing uh, is a power adapter. Uh, this one is an input of two and a half amps, which at 120 volts, assuming that it maxed out at 2.5 amps, is uh, what somewhere around 300 watts or so. I'm guessing. That's a general estimate. Uh, but anyway, output the max output is 12 volts at 7 amps. Uh, this is a heavy-duty power supply. I don't think I've ever seen a 12-volt 12 12 power supply that could provide 7 amps before. I think the last highest I've ever seen before that was 6. So I'm sure they got something that does a lot more. <clears throat> PC power supply can do a lot more than that. Uh, so anyway... Ignore this. If you haven't seen this before, this is my microphone. That's how you're hearing me. <laughs> so, um, the PLA that I ordered this week um, is this red stuff right here uh, by Digi 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 Struct, D I G I Struct, uh, 3D printer filament. Um, every I will not buy less than one kilogram. Uh, on any of my PLA unless it's like some kind of highly specialized stuff. I've, I've looked at some materials online that are highly specialized and have very unique properties. Uh, but for regular stuff, uh, I know they come in different sizes, but I will buy no less than one kilogram because everything else just seems like a ripoff. Um, but yeah, one kilogram, uh, let's see, with a 0 .03 millimeter, um, accuracy plus or minus 0 0.03 millimeters so honestly i don't know how much the accuracy matters but uh it is listed if that's a big deal i'll find out as soon as this thing jams up i guess i don't know um here is the same same brand same uh, amount in white and the company that I would buy all my filament from, all my standard filament, uh, if I wasn't trying to save money, is 3D Mars because these are one and three quarter kilogram uh, uh, filament rolls. I'm sorry, 1.2 kilogram. Uh, it's it comes out according to Amazon to be about 2.9 pounds. These are about 2.2. Uh, so yeah, it it's it's a slightly bigger roll than what the standard ones are. Uh, I also like this thing because I was born in the '80s, and that just reminds me of the wheels that they used to put on cars back in the day. <laughs> There's no real reason other than the extra capacity. Uh, keep in mind though that when I was looking at, for filament, these um, in the U.S. run $25.99. Except for one color. They had one color that was like $30. But uh, these are $25.99. Whereas these right here are $17.99. So 
Uh, the Digistruct is definitely cheaper than 3D Mars, but you, like I said, you get more with 3D Mars, so uh, I guess you take your pick on if you want more or if you want to save more money. And also, uh, like I was saying before, they sell smaller rolls, so if you want to save money that way, in, in my opinion, it's a, it's a bad decision because in the long run, you're going to have to buy more rolls, and it's going to cost you more money to buy the smaller ones, so... Uh, I don't know. It, it is what it is. But anyway, that is the introduction. Uh, this will probably be a long video uh, because I have a lot more to do. Uh, so if it gets too long, I'll break this up into two parts. And if it is broken up into two parts, you already know that by now. Um, and if this is two, if this is a two-part video, uh, this will be the end of the first one. So my name is Elemento. And this is Technoscope. Technoscope is a twisted curve production.